Hello, welcome to episode 82 of the Spare Change Challenge. We're playing again on Ignition Poker. Trying to run our bankroll up. Doing pretty good in that endeavor so far. We started at $25 in December or late, was it late November? Played a couple sessions in November, but mostly started in, basically started in, uh, in December. And we're now sitting at about 12.50 in our bankroll. Something like that, maybe a little less. So yeah, hopefully the trend continues and we can keep running it up. And yeah, sky's the limit, right? So we're just gonna play our normal game as per usual. And try to win the monies. I feel like I might have a little cold coming on. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's just allergies. But yeah. I feel like something might be going on. little bit iffy on this table here whether it's worth playing this guy did limp under the gun a second ago right or did he post either way it's fishy but he is to our left hard to extract so if these guys don't seem fishy we may just go ahead and take off this guy is half stacked here but he's raising so maybe not a fish Fly at the H jack here in position. We have backdoor flush draw and ace high. Certainly don't think we're folding this flop unless he pots it or does some other shenanigans. Um, I think we can check this back. I mean, he does have some hands like fives that we kind of want to get him off of. So I'm going to protect and maybe get him off a small pair. Bet a little bit on the bigger side just to maybe increase my fold equity slightly against those type of hands. Um, yeah, I mean, we sometimes have the best hand here. I think we just check back. I think it's fine. He could also be slow playing something. He could have flush draws. He could have, I don't know, he could have a weak queen sometimes. Just be trying to get to showdown. I mean, I expect to see sixes, sevens, eights, something like that here most of the time. But I don't think he's folding that. If I was going to try and get him off of that, it would have been on the turn. Um, wow. Okay. So there could have been a lot of bad flops for us. So we'll count ourselves lucky. We get three bet. I think it's just standard to shove on the cutoff. I expect his range to be a little bit tighter here. But it's okay. We have queens, right? Not going to fold queens. Well, this guy must have nines or something. Um, that's why he's thinking about it. Wow, he's queen. Didn't expect him to be that light. But we'll take the win, certainly. Take a $61 pot. Two and a half times, basically, almost, what our starting bankroll was a couple, three months ago. So, that's pretty cool, right? So, we'll go ahead and get off of that table. Maybe not a great table here. We're going to give it a shot. You never know. Could be a soft spot somewhere. I may play a short session today. 
I don't know, maybe even as short as 30 minutes. Um, you know, I got, it's a beautiful day out. The kids are outside playing. I kind of want to be out there drinking a Coke, <laughs> watching them play. I've already done some coaching today, so my brain's a little bit frayed. So there's nothing wrong with playing short sessions occasionally. I know it's a bad day to do it. It's Saturday. But that's the beauty of not playing poker for a living. I can do whatever the hell I want, right? And I like weekends with the family. If I was doing this for a living, I would certainly be playing more than 30 minutes on Saturday, every Saturday. I would be playing probably six or seven or eight hours on Friday and Saturday, and probably Sunday. I think you would get the bulk of your hours in. I would play two hour sessions probably three times a day, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, minimum. Maybe even play some extended nights with tournaments, but if we ever get to the point where we're playing for a living, that will happen, I'm sure. But we are not there and not planning to be there. Kind of happy with my life right now. And the only time I would do that is if this was making a lot more money than my real, real day job or whatever. <laughs> um, it's just not there yet. Maybe when I'm playing 400, 600 and L, 1,000 and L over extended period, put a couple hundred grand away, we'll think about it. <laughs> um, as far as poker bankroll, you know. But yeah. Not gonna, not really open to that idea right now. Just a little bit too risky and stressful for me. This is a hobby. Let's treat it as such. Definitely going to call with Queen 10 off suit here and play according to his bet size. He pots it. It's kind of weird. Um, yeah, I think we just have to get it in with a 4 SPR. There's certainly worse hands that can call us here. I don't think he's going to bet fold, but I think we just have the best hand here a lot. Ouch. Can't hold. Can't hold. That was a bad turn card for us. Picked up diamonds too. But I mean his hand certainly makes sense for the way he plays it. But we just can't win with superior with a superior hand, unfortunately. This is an interesting spot. If this guy three bets, I may ship. He looks like he could be aggro here. And a lot of people do three bet fairly wide in this spot versus this player. I may just stick it in here. I'm gonna stick it in anyway though. Um, how many times has this guy stolen in a row? I think this, this is a squeeze here. I think this can be a... F well, probably not a flat here. I'm just going to fold that. It could be a call. Certainly would in the big blind, but I think in the small with this aggressive of a player, I don't want to have... I mean, he's going to three bet squeeze a lot, so... Um, I'm just going to let it go. If this was a fish player, I certainly would... Fishy player, I certainly would be calling. This guy's 10-0 behind me. I'm just going to bet. Raise, whatever. Um, I'm just going to bet the flop with a gut shot. Backdoor flush draw. I know this connects pretty well with his range, so we're going to get yeah, raised a lot. Obviously, we just did. But we're one and dotting this. We're not going to try and chase some kind of gut shot. Um, yeah, I, think, I think it's just better to try and one and done that with a bigger bet. Um, we can certainly have the best hand here. I'm going to keep betting with my king high. That's weird. Okay. Usually pretty strong when somebody does this, so I'm just going to fold. And we flopped the nutter butters here against a fairly loose player. I think we just bet big and stack. Unfortunately, he has not a. We could consider the checking that back sometimes. This guy's three about 100%, three of three. Wow. I think he's a little too big for me to call here. I don't think he's folding to a shove and we have 10 high. I just realized he had three bet. I didn't realize he had three bet twice in a row. That's probably not an open there. Uh, I kind of like having this guy here though. We're going to be able to sh shove for value with a lot of hands. Um, we get don't bet. We don't have any backdoor draws. If we have one over, I think we'll just get away from this one. 
Why couldn't he dock bet when we had top pair? That would have been nice. This table looks good. We're not going anywhere. This one is a little iffy. This guy is 60-0, but he's to our left. Um, this one I don't know yet. Maybe a good table. This guy limped. This guy's an empty seat. This guy's a fish. I think we can ISO this. a little bigger here. Um, we don't want to get floated by ace high. That would be really bad here. We just want him to fold. Now we do have backdoor hearts. We have a king we could hit. Even a three would be good sometimes, but I just want to win it right now on the flop. Get him off ace highs, king highs, maybe some small pairs. You know, It's not like a broken record. I know I say probably the same thing in that spot every time, but it just comes up a lot. That's a pretty common spot. And maybe somebody's out there watching this that hasn't watched these before and wants to know what the hell I'm doing there. So I'll tell you. I may just leave this table. Yeah, I'm just going to leave this table. Even this one though looks good. Same thing versus this guy. We're going to punish him for limping. And just bet this flop. I don't think he's going to have an ace much. We don't have to bet big. We can have the best hand here, I think. It's going to be tough to get this guy to fold a queen, isn't it? Blind versus blind. I just hate to barrel off against what could be a station here. I just think we're better off just checking back here. Uh, we had a king or ten. We're probably good. Jack for sure. I just think he's got a weak ace or a queen here. He's just not going anywhere. So we're just going to let him have that one. Not going to fool around with that. call. Definitely defending the jack-10 here. I think the easiest way to get the money is the check-shove here. I'm not going to slow play this board. This is one of the most dynamic boards you'll ever see. And we do get him to put it in with ace-jack, which is of course he's supposed to. And we hold. Easy peasy, right? Easy game. Easy game. Flop top two pair. Get in versus top pair. Just leave this table. Not looking great. No fish. Well, this guy's 31 6. Um, he has a lot of money. We'll think about this. Think about this a second. This is our big th time three bet guy. <sighs> Means he's also going to ISO wide too. I would normally limp this behind. Maybe a min raise is better? No, he's 
How are they gonna squeeze wide? I hate to fold seven six suited here if he limps. I don't know. Maybe just better off sucking it up and folding. I would normally open that, but this guy's three betting pretty wide. Pretty, pretty wide. I think we'll just leave this table. This guy isn't like a super fish or anything. Oops, I meant to bet there. Damn it. Trying to protect my hand. I'm probably the best thing. I don't want to check to him because he can just bet anything. I think I just bet bet now. I think I have to try and rip something to get him off something. Like a nine, eight. Um, I mean, I certainly have the best hand sometimes, but I can't really check call either. So, I mean, it's irrelevant if he's folding worse hands. I'm just trying to get him off some better hands. What do you think? I'll try and limp here. I think if I'm raised, I'm getting flat, flat, and playing a four-way pot with ace-jack here. Don't really want to do that. Yeah, I'm gonna have to flop a super strong hand to, to proceed here. I mean, this is just a fishy spot to me. I need a super strong hand to proceed. Fish, I meant ice is you on the button. That's pretty scary. Wow. Okay. Certainly never betting this flop with this board. <laughs> uh, we're just hoping these guys all have broadways here, right? Nobody has any low shenanigans. Broadway? Broadway? Oh, he hit a deuce. Damn it. Hit a five? <laughs> oh, well. What are you going to do? Had them both dominated, that's good. Volunteers, gone, we'll try this one. Um, I don't think we're gonna bet this turn. There's way too much, we could have the best hand here, honestly, so why bet? I know there's somebody, one of these two is likely to have ace high, or some piece of this board, but there's no way they're folding anything here, so he's certainly not folding that. So it's just a spot. You just kind of have to check back. Yeah, this is kind of vacuumish, yeah. I think we have to defend Jack nine. Hundred nine, huh? That's eleven hands. Um, it's hard to rep anything here because we didn't three bet. It's harder for us to rep an ace. I think if I had some kind of equity backdoor, be it, got shots, anything, I'd probably raise that. Um, man, I just need to hit a hand versus this guy. Once again, this is a similar to that 10-9 board. We're just never going to see bet that in a three-way against these players, even though we have backdoors now. shows a six I thought we were all in there damn it that, that was a tease um, we bet pretty big on this flop I think you can have deuces threes fives certainly could have sets I mean you could have over cards too I think we just bet half pot here I think we have the best hand often enough that we can bet um, I think we fold to a shove I think he just got us, us crushed when he when he shoves um, I think that's just <laughs> about the worst river we could see um, so we'll fold Jesus, anything above a seven, and we're pretty happy about, well, I guess an eight's bad. 
but that's one of the few cards we don't want to see. I think we just bet. There's definitely worse hands. This guy folded a hand. Wow. The one time I have jacks, he folds a hand. Um, four to one. We don't have a clean set out. Yeah, we'll just fold. Sometimes I'll call in that spot. <laughs> uh, one, I could have the best hand. Two, a four is clean if it's clean. Like in other words, if if a four, if I'm holding a four of clubs here. Not too sure about this table. Probably go bye bye. Certainly calling this because this guy's super short, and most short stacks don't exercise good ranges and such. Deuce, please. Deuce, deuce. Deuce, deuce, deuce. Three. That's close enough. Thank you for the free money. I appreciate that. All right. I'll check out this nine. Uh, max table. Uh, everybody's sitting out. This guy's short, though. Makes me almost want to sit. Um, this guy's 150 over two hands. Big whoop, right? Um, man, I think we could shove. Uh, I think we'll just call. I think this is a clear bet, bet, check, fold. We're mitigating our... our um, losses here and we happen to be beat and depending on the river um, we're chopping with all of their aces we're beating King Jack we're beating a lot of hands um, do we try and get this guy to um, I think we bet this guy's stack try to get him to call with the king uh, there's some missed flush draws um, kind of torn I think we bet and fold to this guy's raise to call this. Well, whatever mind, this guy can't call. I don't think this guy would raise like ace 10, would he? So we get value. I, that's surprising that we got called there. I guess this guy had like king 10 or something. Maybe he had king jack and didn't realize he was counterfeited. I don't know. We'll find out though. We're going to look at his hand. He had pocket sixes? Are you seeing this? Fishy, fishy. I need that as a sound bite, right? Fishy, fishy. Um, maybe there's a sound here that I could use instead. No, I guess not. I really want to play against this guy. Um, I'll keep that on hold. Got a new table there, or just a really good table. Ah, that was a good table, I think. Looks like it's not new. I think we just take this down a lot. <laughs> How do we get so short down here? So maybe we'll play this revolution here once it comes around and then whatever's left over on these tables and we'll call it a day. I hate, I hate to do short, super short sessions, but I think it's better than playing no session, right? Kind of keeps our momentum going. We play a session. Um, we find balance. I mean, I get to spend more time with my kids at the same time, so I think that offsets it. So. I don't know if I'll play tomorrow, as everybody should know by now. Tomorrow is my birthday. 
I will be 29 years old again for the 15th time, 14th time. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm perpetually 29 years old. Don't I look it? You know, look pretty good for my age. I'm 43 tomorrow, if you didn't know that. Let's say I feel 43, but I've felt about the same since I was, I honestly feel the same. I feel that I feel the same as I did when I was 18 years old. I don't feel any different. I had bad feet and knees back then, so you know, I actually may feel better now since I'm not doing all the physical activity I used to do, extreme physical activity. Feel pretty, pretty good. Especially since I've lost a lot of weight since this time last year. And even this year I've lost 10 pounds. Uh, last year I started the year at about 230. And I'm at 187 as of yesterday morning. So good, you know, 40, 40 plus pounds I've lost. And so, I mean, that'll do a... a That'll do wonders for how you feel. You know, I'm six foot two, so I mean, 230 is not that big for me. But I think my ideal weight's around 180, probably. I like to hit the weights a little bit instead of being skinny fat. But <laughs> I think I'm going to start doing that. At least doing some some kind of exercising, if not push-ups, pull-ups, that type of thing. If nothing else, I'll do that along with my normal running, which I do three times a week. Do some little bit of little bit of distance running, not not distance distance, but flat out just jogging, running for about a half a mile to a mile. And then I do a few sprints and that's it. I don't do much. Hurts my feet too damn much. But I still like to stay in okay shape, you know. Okay. All right, so we'll play, yeah, we'll just play these tables out and call it a day. Sorry for playing so short, but it is what it is. Welcome to those just joining. Good to see some familiar faces. Good to see some new faces. I still don't know how we lost money or what, what happened there. <laughs> I have no memory. That's weird. Very weird. My short term memory is pretty, pretty bad. My long term's not great either. I think it's everything's just a blur since nineteen ninety five. I can't I still can't believe it's the year two thousand. Shit, that's seventeen years ago. Feel like I'm gonna wake up soon. I hate to leave this table. Man, that guy was such a fish. Um, yeah, so I just feel like time has just flown. Life is definitely too short, that's for sure. I am never see betting this board in this spot. I am just getting the hell out of Dodge now. Lots of good turn cards for us here. Certainly can get called by worse. I think there's too many good turn cards for us with the fish in the pot for us to pull to a min raise here. Three, five, deuce, ace, six, spade are not the worst cards for us. We're going to call one street. It's actually not a bad card to check raise, but I don't think we will. We're going to play pretty much under the cuff here, close to the vest, <laughs> whatever the saying is. That's a good table here. Fish, fish. Games are decent. I should be playing longer, shouldn't I? 
play with kids, play poker, good games, play with kids. I think that one out. Wait, no, wait, it would be this, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll make a fresh pot of coffee. Settle in, go a little bit off the diet today and tomorrow. Tomorrow I normally do anyway, it's Sunday, but I'm being a very lax today. It's the day before my birthday, possible cold coming on. I'm going to eat what the hell I want. I'm going to get some onion rings and, I don't know, some kind of fatty sandwich later from the bar down the road. <laughs> Definitely craving some onion rings for some reason. I don't know why. Freaking onion rings, man. I think I know why. When I played pub poker the other day, Somebody had some onion rings. They said they were lousy, but man, they look good. I said, those look good. Are they any good? He said, nope. Um, this is a clear fold here. We would need at least jack the jacks here, and jacks might even be a fold there. So we'll get off of that table, save our money, get off of that table. Take a quick look at how I did. I think we're up, right? We should be up. 1282, so we're up a little bit today. That's surprising. I thought we won a couple stacks at 100 to now. Thought we'd be up more. So we're up, uh, I think we started about 1240-ish. We're up about 40-ish. <laughs> uh, so we're getting near 1300. So we're just over $500 away from um, our first shot at 200 to now. It's hard to believe it's only 500. That's really not much money when you think about it. That is not much money. Um, that's only like what 15 a little more than what 17 buy-ins at 100 nl wait 10 i don't know somewhere between 10 and 20 buy-ins i'll say 300 would be 10 buy-ins that would get me to 1582 another 300 okay so yeah about 17 16 buy-ins um not much i mean we're up like what are we up in the last the last week or so a lot right like last we're up quite a bit in the last couple thousand hands I think let's see if I can do the mass the maths here let me do the last let's do the last 2500 hands and see what that looks like actually Let's do last eight. Let's do last eighteen hundred because that would that would represent about a week's a week of hands, right? Um, so yeah, we're up five forty. We're running over EV in the last eighteen hundred hands. I guess that's nothing to shake a stick at. Slow and steady wins the race. We're slightly up and basically break even in the red line. So this looks good. I mean. Usually when I'm about like this with the red line is when I feel like I'm playing my best. I think I might be getting a little bit too out of line when I have a winning red line. I think I'm being a little bit too much of a nit when I have a losing red line. So this is our overall so far as of a couple days ago. Um, this is cash games only, obviously. So last 18, <laughs> we're running 50 big blinds per 100 over the last 1800 hands. Um, obviously sustainable, right? It would be nice if if we could play another 1800 hands and be at $1900 or whatever. Um, we certainly can't expect that. So yeah, we got We got to get a little variance at some point. Hopefully later rather than sooner. Well, maybe we'll have it like when we're at 10 grand. <laughs> I don't know. There's never a good time for it, but whatever. It's coming. Winter is coming. And okay. So <laughs> I guess that's it. Nothing really else to show anybody. Alright. I'll be pretty happy with how we're doing in the in the challenge so far though. I'm not going to complain. We're just gonna keep plugging along. We're at thirteen hundred almost and hopefully next stop two hundred and L here in just a few days. We're not gonna ahead of ourselves, we'll knock on wood that we don't get a little variance here. Eh, never hurt anybody, right? If we dropped a couple hundred dollars right now, it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? We'll build it back up. So we'll just keep plugging along and see what happens. Uh, I'm going to go play with the kids now.
have some coffee with the wife, enjoy this beautiful day. It's like 75 out there, uh, blue skies, blue skies, Carolina blue. So everybody enjoy the rest of the weekend, and we'll maybe see you tomorrow. If not, we'll see you Monday. Thanks.